Hey, people. This is Idea from Idea and Abilities, and you're listening to The Interview Show. In case of emergency, break glass and put us out. It's the last time I'll let you put rain, rain through my clouds. They say sell it and float for all we care. I watch the body from a distance and then talk about it like I was there. We don't share even the slightest hint of life. We fight to find when it went wrong and die before we finally get it right. And forgive me if I'm way more bored than I am brave. Maybe it's you and not me. Either way, walk away. I'm okay. So it's the same with a discouraged face. Made from scrape and misplaced anger I accidentally embrace. It's dysfunction. It's implied by it's bloodthirst, wanna take it all apart Just to rebuild it and make it worse You're going crazy, well I'm happy you're leaving You wanna sing yourself to sleep But you're too dead to realize that you're screaming Even if in God we bend and in trust we cheat I'm everyday people normal And I'm glad to be Help me up, fall in love We are America's favorite choice of drug It's all in your hands and kill us while we're young You don't need to push me, I'm ready to jump Break me down, wake me up we are America's favorite choice of drug It's all in your hands to kill us while we're young And don't fucking push me, I'm ready to jump Sukasa, anything you say can and will be held hostage. I watch the mellow craze dance its way inside. The universe is black and I'm a lighter shade of blind. Everyone's tugging and pulling in different directions. Why can't I see anything anymore? Anyway, medicine, method, or media coverage. Something is broken, my TV and keeps telling me I need to be worshipped and follow the fill point. I don't know who I am. Paranoid, bury me somewhere with less perfect lighting. Please. I wanna suck out all of your junk and kiss it back into the parts of your heart that you keep locked up when you awaken. I hope I'm the first person you call. I'll listen like a pistol. It'd be worse than talking to a wall. Having everything's having nothing at all. I want you climb your way to the top, and I'll still be here when you fall. There's no fulfillment in a lazy nation that keeps feeding our infatuation with the idea of being famous. Help me up, fall in love. We are America's favorite choice of drug. It's all in your hands and kill us while we're young You don't need to push me, I'm ready to jump Break me down, wake me up We are America's favorite choice of drug It's all in your hands and kill us while we're young and Don't fucking push me, I'm ready to jump Alright, welcome to the interview show, this is Scott Wood, your host And today I have Idea with me Hello and welcome to the show Hi, thanks for having me Yeah, no worries Ah, oh, car goes on. This record is the debut of your rock sound, quote unquote. I'm sure you've been asked this question a million times, but everybody wants to know why'd you decide to go in this direction? Uh, I think it was uh, more of a kind of just natural progression, and in a lot of ways, a regression into what I personally and I, I guess I speak for both of us in idea and abilities. What we kind of like grew up listening to for a while there. Um, I don't think we fully embrace that as far as idea and abilities is concerned, you know? And now we just are. It's a little more truthful. It's a little more... Um, it's a little more kind of realistic. <laughs> you know, it's a little more like us. So I've got to ask a question because you come from a very traditional hip-hop background. I mean, you come from a battling background, which is like the backbone of old-school hip-hop. So for a lot of fans, is seeing this change of direction being received well? Um, you know, it's not being received as well as, you know, it could be, I guess, but it's not as bad as uh, some other bands that have started in the reception that's followed that, you know, so uh, it's all, it's all good, you know, it's all just kind of, <clears throat> I feel like as an artist, a, a person gets what they're supposed to get, and if you, you know, are getting, you know, less of a positive reception at a certain time, you know, use that, that's, that's, you know, it's, it's all meaningful, you know? Um, and I think in a lot of ways, sometimes kind of having a harder or more difficult path is a lot more beneficial to you as a person, if you can take that. Of course, if you don't let it destroy you. I was looking at an interview with you that you did with Underground Hip Hop TV, and you were sort of taking the criticism you've gotten in a very self-depreciating, like almost embracing and being a martyr kind of way. And I was wondering, what's your relationship with that criticism? Well, it's a very... Uh, interesting thing because initially I knew that when I kind of started embracing these other parts of my personality that it was going to be greeted with like a lot it, I, I knew it was going to be very difficult but I thought that I was going to be able to like handle it emotionally 
And that's kind of where the I was like, yeah, I'll be that guy. I'll be the guy who gets torn apart and just shows the world that, you know, it's okay to just be yourself and be creative and move and do whatever you want to do and be unapologetic about it. But what I learned about myself is that I don't think I'm emotionally stable enough to deal with that. It, it just became too much. And so now I've kind of retreated into a little world, I guess, when it comes to my art and my music, where I just kind of make what I want and I put it out there and, you know, of course, play, do shows and stuff like that, but not so concerned with the response that it gets because I can't be, because it's too devastating for me when I get, like, people that want to, like, kill me. I mean, I've gotten death threats, you know, and it's like, it, it's too much for me to deal with, you know, maybe some other people can, good for them, but I can't, so I hide. <laughs> I don't want to dwell on negativity too much, but you've been, you're one of those guys, or you're one of those acts that's been gifted with very passionate fans, and you can look at that type of stuff in a lot of ways. It can be taken as a passionate response. Yeah, sure. I mean, it is. It's just hard to like dodge like hard objects and they're being thrown at you. you know? And I, I feel like I've endured. You know, it, it it's like it didn't destroy me, but I can, if I'm being completely honest, I can, I can say it almost did. You know, and also, you know, a lot of this is the thing that. A lot of people don't realize the initial, like, all the battle stuff and all that. I mean, I was done doing that by the time I was 19 years old. So people saw that couple of years of my life, that little window, when I was, like, a teenager, still trying to figure out this thing, and um, really, like, kind of identified with it. And uh, the truth is, I mean, that was just one little little part of who I was at that time. Ah! Hey, people! This is Idea from Idea and Abilities, and you're listening to The Interview Show. Everyone wants to get out of Wants to be free, wants to see no more. We're guaranteed that the season's good. Till then I'm keeping sunshine on my head. The drops hit my head, they be. Everyone wants to get out of it. We cannot avoid nature. I smile while they quickly out of the rain. Everyone wants to get out of the rain. Wants to be free, wants to see no more pain. We're guaranteed that the seasons will change. Till then, I'm keeping sunshine on my brain. When the drops hit my head, they leave a stain. Everyone wants to get out of the rain. Everyone wants to get out of the rain. Everyone wants to get out of the rain. Harvested love only comes after rain. Even though it brings overwhelming strain, it falls from all skies, so I can't complain. Without it, our growth would not be the same Most people like to have someone to blame But it falls randomly, not taking aim It makes up one half of the yin and yang Without the water, you can't have the flame Without the water, you can't have the flame Some are content holding ground in their game But when my soul steps to exit this frame I will be reincarnated as rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Wants to be free, wants to see no more pain We're guaranteed that the season will change till then i'm keeping sunshine on my brain when the drops hit my head they leave a stain everyone wants to get out of the rain we cannot avoid nature's bleeding vein but i smile while it trickles down the drain Thought only comes after rain Artists may talk and give it different names When they appear wet they may feel ashamed So they don't walk but instead take the train And when that ride stops they notice the strange Sense of degeneration they've obtained While the world evolves they stand and turn lame Storm is prerequisite to mental gain Storm is prerequisite to mental gain Philosophies like that simple and plain Poets play with words to keep themselves sane You do your thing while the clouds pour the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Wants to be free, wants to see no more pain We're guaranteed that the seasons will change Till then I'm keeping sunshine on my brain When the drops hit my head, they leave a stain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Harvested skill only comes after rain Architects build under sun, so they claim But when the puddles decided to hang It's when their hands catch the plans that remain Every man secretly hopes he can tame The beast he fears most cause it can't be slain Towering gray faces laugh so deranged One day we all will break free from their chains One day we all will break free from their chains And rise towards the sun with good health sustained It's almost impossible to explain But I owe all my 
my success to the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Wants to be free, wants to see no more pain We're guaranteed that the seasons will change Till then I'm keeping sunshine on my brain When the drops hit my head they leave a stain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain Everyone wants to get out of the rain This is Idea from Idea and Abilities, and you're listening to The Interview Show. Yeah, fair enough. You know, to be honest with you, I, I was one of those guys that was a big fan of, like, Liquid Sovereignty and stuff like that. But this new record, I enjoyed the direction. I mean, I think if you look at what you guys are, it's always been experimental hip-hop. I'm just more interested in, you know, a, a person and a band that just doesn't think about any of that and just keeps making music and keeps going and the bands that I really love keep doing that and they get better every single time I see them or every single time I hear a record you know yeah fair enough okay so then can we talk a little bit about making this record you guys have been apart for five years and uh, I read some interviews where you said that you guys sort of quasi broke up so I was hoping that since you guys started this when you were like teenagers together and now you're like men can you talk a little bit about how your working relationship has evolved oh uh, sure you know it's um it's still a pretty complicated relationship I would say you know because we're kind of like brothers in a lot of ways we're both very opinionated kind of bratty individuals when it comes to art you know so um, but it isn't an entirely difficult process I guess it's just you know we, we kind of learned how to work together in a positive fashion over the years you know yeah it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that's not being said there so can you talk a little bit about like you had a long space where you guys weren't communicating so what brought you guys back together and what brought you guys to this new direction well it, it, during the time it, it wasn't that we were necessarily not communicating we just weren't making music together um and you know it really came from max he I remember we were talking on the phone at one point and it was it was actually pretty funny because he said he was like we should start playing some shows again and i was like yeah man i'd be into that and he's like <laughs> this is classic max but he's like we're too talented to be this broke <laughs> I just laughed and I was like, all right, man, let's play. And so we started playing shows again. And um, we thought, oh, man, our newest thing that we would play out of our set is like 10 years old. Even though the, the last record we made is five years ago or whatever. You know, it's still like the material is like eight years old or whatever. So we started making new stuff just specifically for the live show you know, whatever, just make that better than it would be if we are just like, hey, check this out, you know, rehashing this whole thing. And that's what started the process of creating our new record. It's like, all right, now you're, you're into this, you make stuff this way, I'm into this, I make stuff this way. Let's start throwing that together for some ideas to do live. Some people have said that this new uh, Direction, new album, has led to, like, less of abilities, duties in the group. Is that true? No, it's, he's definitely involved way more on the production side on the overall side of everything i mean we are more of a group now than we've ever been but especially when you consider the stuff that he does at the turntable i mean that's that's we don't do a really great job of like publicizing how this stuff all comes about but it's like a lot of that stuff he wrote on a turntable you know even though it sounds like maybe a guitar part or something it actually starts with him doing that can you cite one example of how you noticed that he changed when you guys started making music together again uh, I think we both just kind of were a little more in tune with uh, what we wanted to do. How to? It, when we were younger, we were always like searching for a sound, searching for like a a way to present ourselves, and so we got caught in like this thing where we would, you know, make half of Firstborn as like one sound, and then there's still like battle songs on it, because at the time we were like teenagers. Excuse me, and we thought, well, if we're gonna be a hip hop group, we can't just make all this like weird introspective music. We have to make like a battle song too. So we would it would be contrived because we thought we had to. Now we're old enough to know we don't have to do anything because we're not out here trying to like please a certain type of audience or be some like you know four figures in this genre. That's you know we're not trying to be any of that. We're just trying to be ourselves. Cool, cool. You've had so many identities over the years. You've had Idea, and then you had a, like a hard rock band, and you also had that Oliver Hart project. Are you still trying to find yourself at uh, the age you're at? Yeah, I, I am. And I think that a person, you know, essentially dies when they think that they found themselves, you know? Unless you want to admit that you yourself are not an individual and are just part of a whole 
movement of ideas and thought and culture and humanity and furthermore the universe and everything, unless you really feel like that and you're walking through walls, you know, you are always trying to find yourself. And it's usually a person who believes that they've found the answer, found the end, that there actually is a psychological end. And then what's the point of you know, doing anything after that? Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, a quote of yours that you were talking about your life and how it was a string of bad mistakes. And this leaves room for a great redemption story. So I was wondering where you were at that story right now. <laughs> oh, do, you, what, do you know what year I said that or when that was said? <laughs> <laughs> I don't it was know. a while ago. It, isn't a person just a collection of their mistakes and also their kind of undoing of their mistakes? I mean, what else are you? You know, you're always... You're always just the reaction to the bad parts of yourself, I think. And I think that's what is kind of like a driving motivation behind any human being that wants to continue to grow and live life. Is they're looking at their flaws and trying to go beyond them. You answer that question in a very general way. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know how to be more specific. You know, I don't know if I necessarily want to be. You know, the truth is... <laughs> Hey, people, this is Idea from Idea and Abilities, and you're listening to The Interview Show. A prince in practice moans for the attention that he wants, but most of his town won't even dignify his ignorance with the response left to a crowded foster home by a 15 year old mom never been held in anyone's arms when you've never been moved it's really hard to move on a young saleswoman sets up shop when the sun sets you make the loudest dreams come true at a price you won't forget the sad and married set up alibis no harm no regret hoping they meet an angel in bed that could wrestle the devil right out of their heads the city runs fast no one has time to sit with themselves no time to look into our pain or see the same despair but everyone else is here it's there it's everywhere tears soak each card the dealer's dealt time taught me how to see every second is heaven even though the perfect disguise is hell and i refuse to let past bruises cover the light it ain't all good but it's all good enough so i know i'm all right agony is truth it's our connection to the living i accept it as perfection and keep on existing in the now i can only build if i tear the walls down even if it breaks me, I won't let it make me frown I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile I can only build if I tear the walls down Even if it breaks me, I won't let it make me frown I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile Ear to ear as if that's all I'm here for Despite the wars founded by the rich Funded by the poor Kids barely 18 are dying So billionaires can make more Elsewhere hungry mothers watch the baby starve To death in a beat up shack on a dirt floor The aged professor quotes freedoms without a path Now he dresses like a widow and preaches Love is dead in every class But curiosity killed the cat And taught the dog and him how to act and Burned his bridge to Jill So he tries to drown the guilt with a bottle of Jack Self-proclaimed rebels say we must oppose the system You gotta take a stand If you're not against them, you're with them The science reads, support the troops, bring them home No more innocent victims But when a homeless veteran asks for spare change They're too busy protesting to even listen And I'm no different, I live in conflict and contradiction But it can be so beautiful When I don't reject what lies within It's beautiful the way agony connects us to the living I think of the world when I hurt And keep on existing in the now I can only build if I tear the walls down Even if it breaks me, I won't let it make me frown I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile I can only build if I tear the walls down Even if it breaks me, I won't let it make me frown I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile If I tear the walls down Even if it breaks me I won't let it make me frown I'm falling but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile I can only build if I tear the walls down Even if it breaks me I won't let it make me frown I'm falling but no matter how hard I hit the ground 
if it breaks me, I won't let it make me frown I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground I'll still smile ah! Hey people, this is Idea from Idea and Abilities And you're listening to The Interview Show since this album, By the Throat, seems to be a lot about struggle and all those things you were just talking about, I would love it if you could take a song, a track that you guys are working on, and that was a literal struggle for you guys. Oh, do you mean like kind of get into some of the behind the scenes about what was difficult? Okay, okay um, let me think about that. I guess it was kind of hard to do this story because that song was so kind of like based in the, the riff that it was difficult for me to find a way to apply words to it in some ways because it was just like it was almost done as an instrumental you know so that was more like that's the kind of stuff we deal with when I was young I was a single soul amoeba then I learned how to go to war over ideas now I'm in the strip and mother earth over resources waiting for the day that today's considered prehistoric you don't want to just put words in something just because you think that it needs to be there it's like it either tells you it needs to be there or it tells you it doesn't tell you that you know and so that was one of the ones where it's like Oh, there should be words, there should be, it should be this type of song. And a lot of it was just like based on this really sweet riff that Max came up with that I really liked. And so it was difficult for me to like figure out how to put anything on it, you know. So when you guys are in the studio working on the song, how do you like talk about that sort of stuff? We talk about it really openly. I mean, we sit and analyze it for days, you know. It's a pretty, you know, I'd like to say that the initial kind of spark of the music is comes from a really natural place, but I mean once it goes beyond that and starts getting recorded and stuff like that I mean it's like looked at through a million different lenses you know which isn't to be honest which isn't my favorite process are there ever any situations where you guys are working together and he challenges you on your lyrics and you challenge him on the beat yeah I would say that like the whole really what idea and abilities is is where like two different guys meet directly in the middle and that's really what it's always sounded like to me it's always sounded like the pulling between places he wanted to go places I wanted to go and um, it just, you know, we just talk about it until we can find a middle spot. There are places where he he still isn't isn't completely content with some of the stuff that I just was gung ho about, and the same thing for me, you know. So, but I think that's what a group really is. The group isn't about one person kind of bossing everyone around, you know. I mean, I suppose it can be, but whatever. I mean, we could break it down for hours and hours because there's a million different ways to to make art or whatever, but. You know, I think when you're doing it with other people, the most fair way to do it is to just, you know, especially if you love and trust a person, is to sometimes just love and trust them and go, hey, you really want it like that? If you really do and you really know that, fine. You know. So I, I don't mean to be a dead horse, but I would love an example of where that happened between you guys. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, like I feel like that happens. That it's like everywhere. You know what I mean? Like on both sides. It's not just. That's why I don't have any like specific reference points because that's probably the whole sound that's probably every part of every song is both of is him wanting to go one place me wanting to go another and then just kind of being like well, what are you okay with the most important thing to think about is you know how do you relate you know you put down your instruments how do you relate to a person and it really gets back into like how can you peacefully like coexist with someone and that's what we were learned really early on because we were friends and pretty much like live in brothers uh, before we were even a group you know and we had to learn a lot of that stuff really early on so by the time before Max had turntables before I even had anything going on we already had to learn how to like not br you know give the other person time to brush their teeth you know and so that's and that's you know back to answer your question that's what I think the most important thing is if you want to be in a group you have to learn how to exist with the people, you know? And if you can do that, creating the art isn't really all that difficult, you know? There isn't much of a struggle. I love him. He loves me. We know that uh, we're not going to agree on everything, but that's fine. You don't have to. And also, that gives you room to make stuff on your own, too. And that's one of the things I've done all this whole time. There's certain ideas that I have that don't really gel with ID and abilities, so I just do it in a different band and do it in a different context. That way I'm not trying to force everything into this one thing, you know? And to break that down even further, it's just like if you bring it down to a relationship level, you don't get everything you need out of a person from one single person, you know? So it's healthy to say, hey, I have my... I have a million best friends, and each one of them fills like all the certain list of different needs for me, and I fulfill those 
what they need in a certain way. But you know, you, you, it's difficult to maintain a relationship if you expect something that a person cannot give you. If you keep expecting that from them, you're really just going to wind up resenting them and not being able to move forward at all. So I think it's important to be able to look at certain um, situations and just say, all right, this is my friend who does that. And we do that together. We go out to eat. We watch football, whatever the fuck it is, you know, and then find someone else or find out how to do the other things yourself. Admit to yourself that, you know, the person who plays bass in your band might not be the keyboard player. I mean, that's just how it is, you know? Ah! Hey, people! This is Idea from Idea and Abilities, and you're listening to The Interview Show. Ah! When I was young, I was a single soul amoeba. Then I learned how to go to war over ideas. Now I'm in the stripping of the earth of resources, waiting for the day that today's considered prehistoric. Story, 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 story. Standing on my last limb, survived by a naked rush. This story was written in my genetic code. Standing on my last limb, survived by a naked rush. This story was written in my genetic code. Standing on my last limb, survived by a naked rush. This story was written in my genetic code. Standing on my last limb, survived by a naked rush. This story was written. I don't want to, but if I have to, I'll make a big mistake There's no judge or jury when you're looking adrenaline in the face Years of refinement to make this machine I'm gonna use it to the best of my ability My body as my armor will protect my brain from bruising Even though it's it's a it's poisonous power I almost lose it, vomit inducing, diluted in the blood Cause if I ever got a full blast, the rush would be too much Every human being is controlled by the fight, 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 fight. 